All right, we're finally out of the kind of PowerPoint videos and we're now we're to actual screencast. So in this video, we're gonna make our mood board um, on Pinterest. So if you don't have a Pinterest account, you'll need to sign up, but it's super simple. So this is my Pinterest. As you can see, I spend way too much time on here. I have a ton of boards. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new board um, for our website. So I'm gonna click create board um, once I'm logged in and I'm gonna name this EEF creative and I'm actually going to make this a secret board for now because I don't want to be kind of spamming my followers with pins for this um, so I'm going to make it secret by clicking that button and for category it doesn't matter because it's a secret board but if I wanted to I could drop it into design you can add a description if you want but again since this is secret it doesn't need to be searchable people don't really need to know about it so I'm not going to worry about that for now I'm just going to click create board and we're going to get started so here's my board and I need to go find some pins. Now Pinterest, if you follow people and you already have a, an account, you probably have tons of pins that you can repin to your secret board. Um, but right now, I'm not sure exactly what I wanna do for my design. So I'm just gonna find things that I like and this is my homepage. So I like this, um, I like the color, so I'm gonna go ahead and pin that to my board. Now I have to find it. So here's my secret board. I like the colors, that's kind of, you know, the design style that I like. Let's see, I also like this, I'm gonna go ahead and pin that. Now, if you don't have a lot of followers, or a lot of people that you're following, rather, um, you may need to, ooh, I like this one too, hang on. You may need to actually go out um, to some other boards and look for things. So, we're, I'm gonna pin this, and then I'm gonna go over to the design board up at the top. So, Let's see, I wanna look under design and find some pretty designs that I like. Now, you're not gonna be copying these designs, you're just looking for things that kinda like fit the vibe and the brand that you want. So keep in mind the brand words that you wrote down on your business sheet. Keep in mind the first impression that you want people to have on your website when they get to your homepage that you filled out. I like this, this looks nice, I'm gonna pin that. And again, we're not copying, we're just getting ideas so that when we create this board, um, we're gonna have kind of an idea of what we like. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video for now. I'm gonna kind of curate some pins and then I'm gonna show you what I've come up with. Okay, so I've spent some time pinning some things that I've liked and you'll notice they're not all from the design section of Pinterest. Some of them are clothing, some of them are house stuff, some of them are just random things that I've liked. But you'll notice they're all somewhat cohesive. I like a lot of pink, obviously. I like pink, I like yellow, I like these bright colors and kind of like white backgrounds. So you'll notice a lot of things have color, bright backgrounds and similar color palettes. Now for actual color palettes, we're gonna talk about that in the next video. But as you can see, I've already got something kind of cohesive. Now if you have things that don't match, you can go ahead and remove them. So for example, if I decided I didn't like this, I'm just gonna go ahead and click the edit button and delete it. Now don't worry if your mood board doesn't come together super fast. Um, you may need to spend a few days, maybe even a week, kind of going through things and finding what really feels like you. I already have a brand, so this was super easy for me to put together. But that doesn't mean that yours is gonna come together as quickly. I mean, I seriously only spent five minutes. I pinned some things that I had already pinned that I liked. Um, so don't stress about it if it takes you a little while to kind of nail down the feeling that you're going for. But as you can see, a lot of these pins, actually all of these pins kind of fit with my brand words. They're bright, they're fun, they're friendly. There's nothing intimidating about these. So this is my brand and this is what I like. Let's move on to color palette.